Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. In the last episode, we did a greed mode, um, Apollyon? Yeah, I think it was Polyon or however you say his name. Um, I don't remember, we did greed here, and we actually completed it, I think. I don't know, it's been a couple weeks since I've played. Um, but today we are going to do a challenge, and what better challenge to do than speed? Let's go fast. Uh, so, in case you've forgotten, speed is a challenge that, uh, speeds up the game completely. Um, and we have a countdown instead of a, um, timer. And so all the enemies are going to go faster, as well as, um, well, they're going to, oh no, this is going to be bad. Uh, they're going to go faster as well as once we get to, um, uh, uh, once we start losing time, once the time is negative, I think we either take damage or die. I don't remember which. So, one of the most important things right now is to get more damage, uh, a lot more damage. And we're going to be kind of set for life. Uh, with the prayer card, so that part is at least nice. X, X lax, not quite what I wanted. Uh, let's grab hearts. Stem cell regen. Okay, I'll take that. So all in all, this should not be too bad. We just need to continuously go. Uh, mapping would also be somewhat nice, but not required. Honestly, if we can get decent damage... Ah, uh, we should be fine uh, uh, otherwise. I'm gonna try to save the flies. There we go. Alright, let's just continue going this direction. And I'd love... I don't wanna... Ah, oh, I got hit. Okay, that's fine. Um, If we wouldn't have gotten hit there, uh, we could have got uh, another heart. Uh, before the boss, but that's fine. Doesn't matter too much. If we can get a battery, that would be even better, but that battery is locked behind a rock. So, let's kill Famine. Um, this is going to allow us to get uh, a cube of meat, which is going to give us contact damage, which will be good uh, in general. So, the interesting thing about this challenge is it doesn't actually make the uh, the characters or anything faster. It makes, uh, it's the constant broken stopwatch effect. We do need to watch our health. Uh, we are taking a lot of damage. No power really, really kind of stinks. Uh, we have so much life, but uh, without power, really can't do much. Alright, there we go. So, he's almost dead, and so are we, we're dead. Alright, well let's try that again, luckily it's incredibly fast. Uh, Scorpio, Poison Tears, that's not bad, that's sort of power up, I guess, uh, but it, it'll have to deal, do. Uh, but yeah, so I went on a trip this past weekend and unfortunately it's been a while since I've played this, so I'm a little bit rusty. I almost always am, because I played this in little spurts. Uh, Ragman, let's poison him. And... Poison his spider friends, too. Alright, so... He's doing a good bit of damage to us, but... At the same time... I think we'll be fine. Ah. Don't res your friends. That's rude. I don't have any friends to res. Oh, are you really gonna res all of them? He's almost dead, but we do need to deal with all these spiders as well. Alright, let's deal with a couple of these spiders. Because they are kind of driving me crazy. Um, there we go. Now we can get some health back. And that didn't take too long to get through that floor. We got lucky with a lot of empty rooms, and Blood Clot is damage up. Cool. Uh, so let's just 
run on and continue. Um, we only have three challenges left to do, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, uh, we only have three challenges left to do, and they're some of the hardest challenges in the game, uh, including Ultra Hard, which is legit the hardest challenge in the game. Uh, try beating the game with no upgrades whatsoever. Um, hey, cool. Needed that. Um, Alright, we're going to full poison on this run. So we're going to splash damage poison. Um, that's not bad, actually. It's kind of nice. Uh, especially against a lot of different enemies. Uh, we have a key for the next floor. Which is also nice. Um, unfortunately, we lost our damage up. Child heart, that will give us more hearts. I actually don't want that. So let's drop it. I'm hitting the wrong button. It helped if I hit the right button. And it's Monstro. Okay. Oh so yeah, he's going to... Oh, that is considered creep. So he'll actually do a lot of damage to himself. Um, that is really nice. Especially since he jumps very slowly towards you. Uh, this should be nice and easy. And... There we go. Another floor done. Uh, we get meat, damage, and HP. That's not too bad. I'll take it. Um, does Blood Clot? Blood Clot is in every other attack. Um, we have four hearts. I know this. So let's just try to kill some stuff without too much issue. And... There's some health. Uh, this is one we kind of got to watch out. Okay. Didn't turn into a uh, piece of meat, so that's nice. More hearts. Okay. Let's just continue on. There is our item room. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, there is our item room. And rubber cement. That's actually not bad. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Let's blow it up. We'll get a penny. Alright, so, rubber submit means bouncing tears. Uh, with a high range, that's not actually a bad thing. Uh, and since we have the splash damage, does that affect it? No. Okay. But we do have poison tears, so that's just as good at times. Alright, so, more health. And let's just kill this guy. Should not be too much of an issue. We're not supposed to go this way. This is not a good way to go. But let's grab the other key. And continue this way. We have 11 minutes. We're on... Ooh, wow, this is going to be nasty. But with rubber cement, it's actually going to be a little bit easier. So... Just get the tears flying everywhere. And hope for the best. Uh, it's really kind of hard to to navigate this uh, challenge. Everything moves so fast, your tears are fast, you're fast. And I don't really like playing super fast, um, typically. Just because I tend to have better luck in my runs if I... I kind of control my speed a little bit, but uh, obviously that's not an option. Alright, so we got another bomb, that's nice. We could probably get the that card. Let's just try our hardest to kill everything. We are running low on life. Um, It's not really worth it. So, with enough poison, I think if we hit the enemies just a couple of times, we're almost dead, I think. So, it might be good for us to... Probably should have saved that for the next floor, but it might be good for us to go not only for this heart, 
but also going to the secret room. And just go for this heart as well. Uh, just to make sure we have plenty of health. Uh, the world card probably would have been a lot better on the next floor, but it is what it is. Alright. So, let's go fight a boss. Hopefully it's an easy boss. It's the dark one. That is not an easy boss. Um... Yeah, he is... Not that fun. Um... But, at the same time, um... It's not the adversary, so... Could be a lot worse. Uh, he's just gonna make this entire room dark constantly. And we just need to dodge. We need to just keep hitting him. Um, he's kind of over the... Uh... Oh, he shot the laser. I hate it when he shoots the laser. Alright, well, we have food. And no devil deal so far, but that's fine. We've been taking damage. Uh, we haven't got any soul hearts or anything like that. So let's go this way. And the nice thing is, once we hit these guys once, um, they'll still do damage once they're uh, hidden in the whole host hat thing. Uh, so we really only need to hit these enemies once or twice. For us to kill him. Alright, we have literally six six uh, keys. Alright, so let's get rid of the portal if we can. Okay, that's not too bad. And then this guy. Let's go this way. Nothing. Um, I like how the tears kind of bounce just randomly around and that's being super useful so we have seven minutes we're about halfway there which is about right to be honest all right let's just keep going this way there is our item room that is good what do we have reroll rewards okay that's not a bad thing um if we get bombs or keys when we don't want them uh i believe it rerolls pickup so Oh, no, it resets the room. room. That is not a good thing. We don't want that. I forgot what it did. Okay, well, whatever. Um, there is an item room, or rather a shop. And... Just focus on him. Cool. We have plenty of money. We have plenty of keys. Let's see what we have. Uh, compass would be really nice, as well as a soul heart, and might as well buy a normal heart as well. That way we can kind of see general direction of where we need to go. And then we can just shoot these guys. And call it a day, really. Um... We're nearly to the boss. Hopefully we can get something good. Um, hopefully we can get a... What I really like is a devil deal, because that would give us probably a lot more power. And... There we go. I like bouncing off the walls. Alright, Rag Mega. Let's just... Kill as much stuff as we can. Uh, we've already done a good bit of damage to him. And there goes all chance of a devil deal. And in fact, potentially even uh, our life. Oh, come on. We're almost there. Awesome. So we have speedball. Okay. I guess it'll be fine. Let's just continue on and hope for the best. 
Huh, <sighs> we are to Necropolis 1, which is the floor with the, uh, the foot. We are still on very little damage, and we're dead. Okay, uh, let's try this again. So, the key is go fast, get power. Um, honestly, if we don't get a powerful item right off the bat, it's probably not worth it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, Dead Tooth is not too bad. Um, creates a uh, poison, so long as we're shooting. Health up, that's nice. Just kill these guys. And... Are you a wizard? Terrible. Terrible things. Uh, let's go down. Ooh, the Holy Mantle. Okay, now that is a good defensive item. Uh, not so much offense, but defensive. So every room, we can take one hit for free. That was a really good find. So we just need to get some Soul Hearts. And honestly, if we could, I don't even know what we need to do right now, um, but the Halitosis is actually going to be somewhat useful for killing things a little bit quicker. Bomb doesn't matter. Alright, we have the Turdlings. These guys summon a lot of other things. And there goes our health. Yeah, these guys are gonna kill us, so let's just die. That's fine. Uh -huh, and we'll try again. Alright, let's go this way. That's nothing. What's this way? Our item room. Alright, cool. So, item room finding... Uh, getting the item room really quickly is kinda key on the first floor. Um, ow. Got hit by a champion, that's always terrible. And Jawbone. Okay, so it kind of goes out there, and I think it grabs items for us. Yes, it does. It's a boomerang. Alright, let's just... Move that. Click that. Full health. Wow, that is terrifying. Alright. Ragman. Now does it do damage? That's something I haven't figured out yet. Uh, it seems to do a little bit. Yes, it does do damage. So that is nice, uh, but it doesn't seem to do much. I don't know if it does more or equal to my health. But it is, it's an interesting item nonetheless. I haven't seen it before, so that's cool. Uh, let's just try our best. It's not a very good item for this run. Um, but there we go. Belly button. We'll get fishtail. Uh, that I think randomly gives us flies. I don't remember if it's when we shoot or if we get hit. Um, but does give us flies. So, ow. I don't have any keys. And that was a bummer. But we got a soul heart out of it. Lots of money. Yeah, this is not going to be a good run. You can already tell, and I think we have a time for another one once we die, so uh, assuming it doesn't get better. Give me a key. Thank you. Alright, let's go get our item. Anything good? Minecrafter. 
I think this summons an explosive barrel. So let's put it there. Blow it up. And oh great, Rag Mega. Or not Rag Mega. Ragman. Let's get fate. We get flight. Blow that up. Uh, we also got a s eternal heart, so that's interesting. Uh, now the neat thing about this is we can go to the shop for uh, whatever we we find, and the cool thing is we can get all of those coins. All right, so the glitch room is almost defeated, but so are we. Uh, let's go to the shop and grab all this money and Ace of Hearts. Just do that. Cool. So who do we have? We have Pen. And Pen is really difficult when he moves super fast. So that's a thing I wasn't aware of. Um, he also really can't shoot you, because uh, their aiming is off. But he's dead now. Range tears up. We get some more health. And I guess we'll move on. Um, we're doing a lot better now. With flight, this gets a little bit easier. And... Let's see, we've wasted a lot of time. And cool, we get the matchstick. Anything good? Nope. We can just kind of go through this. Uh, the TNT, the... The TNT stuff is actually not that great. But... Uh, let's just try our best. What do we have in here? Uh, anything worthwhile? I don't know what that red pill is. Uh, that's something I've never seen before. Uh, I'm assuming it has to do something with the forget-me-not. It's probably a similar item to that, but I've never seen it, so... There's a thing. Alright, let's try it here. Nope. The world. The world. Alright, let's go get the item. Uh, honestly, we're not really strong enough to to worry about just going after the, uh, the boss. So we might as well. And then honestly, we can just use the fuel. The fool. Um, so... Last room. These guys are terrible when they're fast because they are incredibly dangerous. Sad onion, dead onion. Toxic, toxic aura tears are not bad. Let's grab health. Kill that. All right, so. Uh, there's more health in here. Don't really have any money to do anything with, so let's just continue on. I guess we're gonna try to to beat this one. So, um, Bighorn is not too bad of a boss. We're quick enough that we can just kind of try our best. But... We really can't move the, uh, we can't move the, uh, the bombs that he's going to try to throw at us. But hey, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can do a lot of damage with the Toxic Aura Tears.
And he's nearly dead. So... There we go. Give me something good. Placenta is not necessarily good, but let's just move on. So, uh, th this is not necessarily the best of runs, but it's not a bad one. Not really. The flight is nice. Um, oh my gosh. A spider. Alright, so we have multiple rooms we can go through. We can go here. Temporary enemy slowdown. That might not be bad, but I don't think it's going to be that good. Um, not compared to... Uh, let's grab... Satanic Bible. Book of Belial is what we're going to take. So that is going to be damage increase. And honestly, that is going to be the most important thing. Um, oh my gosh, this bat is flying in really weird patterns. Do we have double tiers? Oh, it's a chance for double shot. Uh, that's what the librarian thing does. The, uh, the bonus effect that we got from so many books uh, gives us a chance of basically doing double shot. It is a small chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Alright, speed up. Just what I wanted. Uh, so luck would be really good. see these guys are really annoying still all right this is not the way to go let's just bomb our way out and go this way so there is the actual shop I will go through that go into there um let's blow him up Grab the moon, heart, let's use the moon, and that didn't really do much for us, so let's just go this way, and hope for the best. There is the boss, so this is the best. Alright, so... Should be the last guy. Perfect. Look at Belial. Where is his shots? This okay. We just hang back here, and he'll eventually die. Um, with toxic aura tears, um, nothing can really hurt us. And here's hoping for a devil deal that has something good. Nope, but we have synth oil, uh, which is pretty good too. That is more damage. And that really doesn't make too much difference otherwise. Uh, so with more damage, we should be able to get through more. Uh, with flight, we can kind of avoid bad things like that. And just go really, really fast. Uh, that's the key. So, let's try downward. Nope. Let's blow him up, though. And we got some regeneration, finally. Alright, let's just make sure that everything is dead. Cool. So, this is going pretty well. Uh, we have some spiders. We can get down here f quickly enough. We can just kind of ignore it. I have no idea what this does. But I want to get rid of the... Uh, I want to get rid of the uh, the matchstick. Because I don't necessarily need bombs. Uh, especially with flight. 
bombs are a lot less useful when you have flight. Right, let's go up. Drop a bomb there. Nothing. Alright, so with this... There is our item room. Oh my god. Let me out. Uh, here is our uh, shop. Might as well go in there. We have enough money to kind of warrant it. And it's greed. Of course it is. And he really has trouble hitting us. Um, which is nice for me. Alright, can you grab... Aw, oh, you barely missed it. Um, so, let's just blow this up. Nothing of value. And there we go. There is our boss. Hopefully it's a good boss. It's Gish. Gish has a lot of HP, but otherwise it's not too bad. It's bookable aisle before I forget. And again, we have flight, so we don't really have to worry about too much. Uh, I don't think his shots were going to hit us either, uh, which is really nice. And... There we go. So, Devil Deal? Nope. No Devil Deal. We did get little Gish. And we're off to the next floor, which is the foot floor. Now we have two minutes. This is where things are going to get sort of difficult. Ace of Hearts. Infested. Infested. Let's blow him up. And... Oh, I didn't realize that was a uh, trap door. I thought that was something I had to hit. <laughs> Whoops. Um, these guys are going to be easy enough. Alright, so... Just continue going this general direction. Blow that up. And this. Get a soul heart. There is our item room. Which is bucket of lard. Okay, we're gonna slow down slightly. That's okay though. Um So we still have a minute. And Super Greed. Uh, Super Greed is actually easier than normal. We get a quarter. Okay. So, really, not much. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Not much to really write home about in that room. Uh, these guys are not too bad. Uh, the AI kind of bugs out when... Uh, going this fast. Which is interesting, to say the least. Okay, so here's our boss. It's Mom's Foot, that's right, we're on that pit, that uh, room, floor, whatever. Um, this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're decently powerful. But kind of the problem is, we don't have any time left. So I think we're going to be taking a lot more damage. Uh, I don't remember what happens if you run out of time, because I don't think I've ever really made it that to that point. Alright, so... There we go. Uh, let's take the Polaroid, why not? And don't want to do the boss rush, so let's just continue on downwards. And we have two more floors that we have to complete, and we're out of time. So, what does that mean? Well, that was a Tinted Rock, so... 
Yeah, we're gonna randomly take damage, I think, every so often. So we need some health. And there was more damage. If we get some items, that's not quite what I wanted. Yeah, we're gonna take damage until we die. Oh man, this is the room to get... Oh, there was health. That was the room. Yeah, we died to time. So, unfortunately, that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, so next time we are going to take on a lost run, it should go a little bit better. Or probably not. Uh, unfortunately, that last run was really good. We just need some way of going a little bit faster early on. Uh, and we'll be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!